Brewers have a 3-0 lead in the top of the third inning, but Siri says, I can do that. First pitch of the at-bat, throws it over. Peralta didn't like that. He kind of just walked it off. But, hey, he says, I put my head down. I ran around the base. Ah, it was a little more than that. It was a little more than that. He thanks the big man upstairs, does the money sign, and he's off. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. Now, in his next at-bat, Freddie Peralta goes slider away for ball one, fastball in for ball two, fastball down for ball three. Says, okay, all right, 3-0, I'm going to hit another homer. Oh, are you going to hit me? Hits him in the butt. He wiggles it off, shakes it off, doesn't even feel it anymore. Siri, number 22, cool cat, cool guy. Now the umpire... This didn't sit right with him because he saw the second pitch that was close to his knees. He gets all his friends together, and he says, uh, we got to get him out of here. Can't have that happen. He says, why, you think he did it on purpose? He says, fuck yeah, he did. He's like, oh, okay. And Pat Murphy, coach of the Brewers, he's had a lot of shit not go his way the last three games. Two games ago, he got in a fight with the umpires about the judge blocking the throw. The game before this one against the Rays, he got ejected in a fight with the umpires. So the Brewers have just been hot. They've also cleared the benches twice already this season. Umpires get together and say, if you think it's on purpose, sure. You go, Peralta, you're done. You hit him on purpose. You're done. Contreras like, what? He's like, yeah, he's done. Now, Peralta doesn't even respond. He just kind of stands there like, what's going on? How does he know? Why does he think that? Meanwhile, manager comes out, and he doesn't say anything. I love this walk, just right up to his face, and then umpire takes glasses off, and Pat doesn't say anything. Just kind of looks at him, looks at him, waits for it. He says, well, he's out of the game, and then he says, Chris, that is fucking absurd. Why is it absurd? You know, he missed him by this much, and then the next one he gets him. You have, you don't know my fucking pitcher. I'm You're watching. fucking wrong. Fuck out of here. You know better not to do that. Hey, go fuck yourself, you little bitch. Oh, yeah, you're a real tough fucking guy, huh? Real tough. Oh, you are in trouble. No, no, you said I'm a real tough guy. You are a tough guy. So what you're doing is bullshit, all right? Who are you fucking talking to like that? You're wrong about that. Get the fuck out of here, Pat. Fuck you, you piece of shit. Oh, no, you know what I think? You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You are terrible, Pat. What are you talking about? You're terrible. Why don't you ask around, motherfucker? You're telling me I'm a piece of shit? You're calling me a piece of shit? You calling me a piece of shit? Huh? Go fuck yourself. He's mad about it. He doesn't like it. You're calling me that? I called you that. You can't call me that. The fans love it behind him, though. They're all about it. They love him. They don't like the umpire. Boo! And up comes Siri again in the top of the eighth. Six-run game. New pitcher. Uribe's in. First pitch, nasty. 99 up and in. Then hits him slider low. Grounds out to first base. Flips it to the pitcher. Steps on him. You're out, pitcher. Looks at him. Looks down at him. Brushes his glove against his leg a little bit. Let's watch it again. Just stares at him as he passes. Mean mugs him. Brushes his glove. Siri's like, yo, you good? He turns around and says, yeah, I'm good. You good? So he's like, I'm good. You good? He says, oh, I'm doing good. Are you good? Umpire says, you guys are both good. Oh, slap, slap, slap. Miss, miss, miss. Reese is down. Come on. Reese is down. What's going on? Here we go. Slow motion. We got a slap attempt. Just misses. Does his pinky touch the helmet? Maybe. Wouldn't that be cool? Maybe, but he misses. Then Siri throws a swinging left. Misses. Hugs the umpire. And then we got a right from Siri, and that's just unorthodox and they hook arms they're gonna dance around do si do and then a left from siri i don't know what that is a little forearm sh- little forearm sh- shake shiver uh got him i don't know it looked like he's just like dancing and then the right uh misses they need to, he needs to take off his glove Uribe decides he needs to take off his glove Hoskins gets in the middle and they bump all over each other. And now Reese is down and they're left looking at each other, going after each other. Oh, there was a right by, by Syria. He just ducked his head and threw a right. I think he ducked his head because he felt someone touching his back. Didn't want to get hit from behind. Throws that right. Misses everything. Now they're in the middle scrapping. Oh, Siri's helmet comes off and he's got a little Cisco blonde hair, white hair. Now here at this point, both their fists are up, and this is the only punch 
if you want to call it that, that connects to his neck. Boom. And if you look at it, he's got his tongue out, uh, like in his teeth. So maybe he bit his tongue there. That might have hurt. And then his left misses, goes on top, but his, his, his forearm grazes the top of his head. So that might have tickled a little bit. His hat's falling off and getting wiggly. Now look who's back, back again. Reese Hoskins in the mix, only to take a punch from his pitcher right in the arm. Boom. Reese gets in the way of that punch, dodges it, and then the hat, your rib is just blind. You know, you got to wear a hat that fits. He's blind. He's had to take his glove off. Now he's got to take his hat off. He's just struggling with all the equipment. You got to know better when you're attacking people. Now, Bryce Wilson, I think it's Bryce Wilson, comes in, and he just finds finds Siri and takes him out. Hoskins is there as well, but in the book of this right here at the beard, he just waits, grabs him, and he doesn't like, he just throws him. Go that way. Kind of like capturing a, an animal and just showing him the door. Siri backs up. He's trying to figure out these fans. Oh, that woman, is she so nervous? This dude, Adventures of Pete and Pete guy, elastic superhero with the beers. I think that dude's yawning. I think he's hiding a yawn oh, and stretching uh, with two beers, trying to act like he's into it. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Too elastic for me. Adamus and Rosarena, they're old teammates. They walk hand in hand. Jeter and A-Rod got so much shit for doing this when the Yankees and the Mariners brawled. Uh, it was like they got torn apart in the papers. I think we've come a long way because now it's like, hey, that's cooler than fighting. Those guys are cool. Although some of you people are probably still upset because you just get upset about things. Uribe walks back into the dugout with Quentin Barry, turns around and says, I, uh, no, no, I'm just, I'm just getting water, guys. I'm just getting a drink. I'm pretty thirsty. And I kind of bit my tongue. We got water inside, you know? We got water inside. Now, Siri, he's getting... He's getting escorted back to his dugout, and he's like, yo, stop pushing me. Yo, stop pushing me. Yo, stop. 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 Chill out, man. Chill out. You seen my hair? We're cool. This umpire's getting giddy thinking about the write-up, just like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Going to be a hell of a report. Let's go. Let's go, Brewers. And there you have it. That was the fight. It was brought to you by DraftKings. Thank you very much for watching. I actually documented the entire course of making this breakdown. If you're interested in behind-the-scenes stuff and the editing techniques I use, you can find that on the More John Boy channel. It'll be up in a couple days or something. It's five hours worth of footage. Thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring this breakdown. Thank you to you guys for watching. Thank you to baseball for being absolutely ridiculous with their fights and benches clearing. Thank you to Reese Hoskins. You know, fell down, got back up again. Chumbawamba.